In this video, I'll show you guys how to fix a problem about um, Apache server and MySQL not running in XAMPP. And basically what happens is, um, I'm just going to stop these right now. Um, you'll click on the Apache start button, nothing happens. It doesn't go to green, it doesn't go to yellow or red. Um, it basically just does nothing. And the same thing with MySQL. And at the time when it was happening, I went into my task manager and I did see um, Apache running in my task manager. So I've just started that now. And you'll see um, two instances of the Apache HTTP server um, in the background processes. And the same thing, actually I can't remember, but with MySQL, um, if this is running here in XAMPP, you should be able to scroll down here and we'll see um, mysqld.exe and this is um, MySQL. So basically the way I fixed this is I, I wasn't able to determine exactly what the error was. Um, if I went over to my error log, um, let's just go in here. Um, basically how it looked was like this at the time. And um, there's this message like warn PID file, um, HTTPD.PID was overwritten. Was there an unclean shutdown of, of a previous Apache run? So I was basically searching this error for a long time. And then um, when I actually did get it working, um, basically my error log was the same. So like this kind of error log will be identical whether um, whether XAMPP Apache is starting or it's not starting. Um, so basically this kind of stuff is normal right here. And this is my backup one. This is what I had before when it wasn't working. And then if I go over to my new one here, um, if we just, let's just push this down here. Um, basically, that's exactly the same right there. So um, I wasn't able to get anything useful from um, the Apache error log. And so basically what was happening was it wasn't starting because um, it was already running somehow. You know, it was, it was running in Task Manager. But then when I went over to localhost um, to check my site, it wasn't starting up. Um, it wasn't loading, so I mean these were running, but um, you know the site wasn't the site wasn't working, and also um, nothing was lit up here. It wasn't showing running, so if it's not running here, if it's not green running in Apache or MySQL, you know then it's not going to work when you go to localhost and go to view your site. And basically, the way I fixed this was um, I went over to SourceForge, and then I went to um, the biggest bundle here, which is, uh, in my case, I'm using 1.7.7 because I, I want an older PHP version. But yeah, there's uh, XAMPP, you know, basically the zip file. And um, download the zip file. And basically, that's going to include all of XAMPP's uh, files and folders, um, you know, just all in a zip folder. It's not going to be in an installer file like this installer.exe. So you just want to download all of this, and then um, basically I have this unzipped right here. And if I open up here, you'll see, you know, a total XAMPP installation right here. And what I did was um, I went over to uh, my XAMPP, so we can we can just open a new folder here, and I'll go over to XAMPP. And this is my working version right now. These are the um, the zip files. And basically what I did was I opened up the Apache folder. And then I just selected everything and I did control X and then I pasted that in another folder. You can see my Apache dot back right here. And I pasted all of those in that folder just as a backup. And when I was um, removing all of these from here, I did get a few uh, messages along the way, you know, saying, oh, you know, we can't delete this because, you know, the process is being used by another program. So basically what you do then, if you get a message like that, is go over to your um, task manager and then just kill, if you see Apache HTTP server running here, kill these processes. Kill these processes. If you see um, MySQL D, then kill that. And also if you see um, XAMPP con control panel, kill that too. And once you kill all of those, um, it shouldn't be in use by anything. And then you can just go like try again or next or whatever the button is. And then um, it will remove all of these folders and you'll paste them in a backup folder just in case you want them later. And then after that, when this was empty, basically what I did was I just went into 
um, Apache here and I copied all of these new files and I pasted them in there and then after that um, when I went to start Apache um, it did start. One thing you'll notice is that um, bef you know in this sort of uh, clean installation here the error folder, sorry not the error folder, the um, the logs folder is empty in the beginning so you know rather than doing what I do you could try just going into like logs and then deleting all of these and then try to restart Apache and if that doesn't work then you could try um, you could try to go into the comp folder and maybe just delete your HTTP conf and then replace that um, replace that with a new HTTP conf so you could try some things like that to sort of like pinpoint the problem in my case the first thing I tried was just you know delete the whole folder and replace it with a new one and that did work but um, probably a better way is you could just you know start with individual folders like you know replace the log folder first and then a conf because a lot of these files here in this Apache I don't think I think they would be unchanged between the initial installation and then you know after you've used XAMPP for a while um, so that's basically how I fixed that problem you can see that um, my Apache is running fine here and I've checked my site and it loads fine. So that's basically uh, my workaround to fixing this problem.